Hola, bienvenidos. Welcome to beautiful Huatulco. Bueno, si es good morning country collectors. Today we are continuing our coastal Oaxacan series by exploring just a bit of Huatulco. We say a bit because this place yes. is huge and we could not possibly fit it in to one video. It's true, we're gonna primarily focus on the main tourist area here. But before we get started, press that subscribe button people, it's right here, yeah. just press it. It helps us out a lot. And don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our future adventures. Let's go. I wanna take a minute and talk about the layout of Huatulco because when we got here, I was so confused. Like Cabo and Cancun in the 80s, Huatulco was developed as a tourist resort town and it encompasses nine bays, which span 26 kilometers of coastline and 36 beaches, so it is pretty big. Today we we are starting in the Zocalo or the main square of town. This is a great place to come and meet people and just hang out. There's also a tourist information booth here where you can get all the info you need as well as pick up a map. Surrounding the square, you'll find things like a market, budget accommodations, restaurants, bars, and places to book tours. It's also only 15 minutes from the nearest beach. Everyone's just hanging out here. They have their morning coffee and their pastries. It's really nice. And you may even get a chance to spot a cute little hummingbird, aww. Across the street is the Iglesia de la Crucecita, which is famous for having the world's largest painting of the Virgin of Guadalupe on its roof. Not only is the Zocalo a great place to come and hang out, it's also a wonderful place to get a taxi to go all around the town and other bays. Behind me, you can see the price list for the taxis. This is great because you don't have to worry about negotiating and you know exactly what you're getting. Traveler tip, if you're feeling a little bit under the weather, you can find these pharmacies all over Mexico. They're called Farmacias Similares, and they actually offer doctor consultations for 50 pesos or two dollars and fifty cents and they'll even write you a script so you can go right to the pharmacy next door so very awesome. cool and how cool is this sign it shows all the nine bays and the different beaches located in each bay speaking of beaches let's head south to Playa Santa Cruz and see what's happening there Vamos a la playa. <laughs> and we could have taken the easy way and hopped in a taxi to go to the beach, but we want to show you the tourist corridor that connects La Crucecita to Santa Cruz. We just saw this really cool tree here and asked the gardener what the name of it is. It's called the Lluvia de Oro, which is the rain of gold. Adam was just saying it and he said the Lluvia de Oreo and this guy just cracked up. <laughs> Hey, I'm hungry. <laughs> when we came to walk on the tourist corridor the other day, we were like, what is this? It goes right from downtown down to the water in the Santa Cruz Bay. Yeah. There's benches, there's some stone slides. Yeah. We'll have to check out while we're walking down. <laughs> and it's so clean. You'll actually notice that all over Huatulco, the people here really take pride in their community and they take care of the place. And we're not saying Mexico is a dirty place, but this no. place is especially clean. It is. All right, let's keep going to the beach. Ooh, I just got our first glimpse of the ocean and it looks spectacular. It's like twinkling down there. Can't wait to show you. You can see down here, there's some big resorts. There's a Holiday Inn over here. What you doing? Nothing, chilling at the Holiday Inn. <laughs> Who you with? With my Heidi, you know she my best friend. <laughs> Move over, Chingy. You got a new sheriff in town. Chingy who? <laughs> and it looks like this is the main road here, going down to Santa Cruz. There's a bunch of shops over here selling bathing suits, dresses, they got some inner tube stuff for the beach. And right across from that little market, you can hear all these birds chirping. Is their main plaza here, their park. There's a nice little gazebo right over here. Great place to get some shade. This is so cool. This is actually a cafe up here in that gazebo. 
off Cafe Huatulco. And right across from the park is the Terminal Maritima, which is the marina. Let's go check it out. This is a great place to come and do some activities, including scuba diving, fishing, and one of the most popular ones, taking a seven bay tour. It's a full day where you go out and go snorkeling, check out the bays and grab some lunch. We've seen varying prices, but the cheapest have been around 400 pesos or $20. We're gonna head inside right now and check it out. Come along. Wow. This is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that these big catamarans here are what the Seven Bay Tour goes out on. It might not be this specific one, but all the pictures I've seen have had something similar to this. Ooh, they even have banana boats. I haven't been on one of those in so long. Honestly, it looks like more of a hot dog boat to me. <laughs> it does. Oscar Mayer Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> right off the marina, there's another little plaza over here and some shops as well as the beach. Let's go check it out. Wow. Well, this is... I don't think I I've ever seen a church with a view like this. Come and check this out. Wow. Oh, I love these umbrellas here too. <laughs> What'd you buy? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas <laughs> oh in all Mexico. <laughs> oh my god. It's actually a really nice yeah. drink. If you're hungry and you want to eat at the beach, this is a great place to come. This is absolutely beautiful. I love it. These red plastic chairs. This is Mexico. Wow. <laughs> Isn't this is gorgeous yes. and it has everything you need you can mm -hmm. sit up here and have some food in the shade go swimming on this beautiful beach yeah. and look how blue the water is i feel like we didn't get this anywhere else on the pacific coast no. here not puerto escondido not mazunte or cipolite yeah. and you know unlike cancun this place doesn't get seaweed for three months a year. That's right. So you can come here and go swimming and never have to worry about it. There's lifeguards here. The water looks super calm. Yeah. I'm digging this. You should definitely come <laughs> and check out Watulco. There is a beach club down here that we want to show you. Come with us. <laughs> I know. We're such dorks for wearing our shoes on the beach. <laughs> we're those people. It's okay. We're walking a lot today. Yeah. And we want to give a very big shout out to our new patrons, Jill and Bruce. We want to dedicate this beach to you today. Yes. We appreciate your contributions so much. You rock. <laughs> if you want to join our family on Patreon, we will link it in the description below. If you find yourself down on Playa Santa Cruz and you want a little bit of luxury, head up to Nero Beach Club. We popped in the other day and wow, it was fantastic. For 850 pesos, around $42, you get access to their facilities, which include the beach area down here, jacuzzis, all you can eat buffet, drinks. You can also pay a little more to get a massage, have a temescal or rent a cabana. But the best part is their pool. It has the most gorgeous view of the entire bay. And while you're at Club Nero, remember, Remember, your stress, your worries, your being overwrought is thousands of kilometers away. I love that. Something we noticed when we came here right away was the lack of foreigners. Unlike when you're in Cancun or other places on the Riviera Maya where everyone is foreign, yeah. over 80% of the people that are here are domestic tourists. I believe it's because of how international air access is very limited here. So unlike Cancun where it's easy to fly into or Los Cabos, it's kind of difficult to get here, but it makes for a way more authentic and honestly more enjoyable experience. I agree. Again, both places or all these places have their own Charm. charms yeah. and pluses and minuses. Mm -hmm. Here is way less of a party. Yes. It's just people that are relaxing and having a good time and I can get behind that. Me too. We asked a couple locals the other day what their favorite beach was and they said Playa La Entrega. So we went over there the other day and it was pretty awesome. We have to show you it. We're going to get some food and go snorkeling there. So come with us. Let's go. And right across from the marina we showed you is the taxi stand. So let's hop in one. And here they have the cost to go everywhere as well. That's so cool. Oh, vamos a la Playa, playa La Entrega. Playa La Entrega. Sí. Sí. to go to Playa La Entrega, but we got in the car and he said if we want to go to the Mirador and then to the lighthouse to take some pictures, it, it'll be another 60 pesos. And I think that thought was so nice and we definitely like to do that. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll see you there. 
All right, we're just pulling up to the Mirador and wow, I just caught a glimpse of it. It looks beautiful. <laughs> you can see down there, that's Playa Santa Cruz that we were just on. And here is that pier. He said that about 80 cruise ships come in here. It has been suspended because of the pandemic, but they're gonna start back up in December. And then over here is Tangalunda and that's where all the resorts are. What a great perspective. That was beautiful. We are now gonna head to the lighthouse. Come with us. Here's the beautiful Ferro, the lighthouse, and the views are just incredible yeah. i think you can actually see whales from up here yeah. i see a bunch of boats that are going out over here it looks like they're probably going out on the seven bays tour this also looks like the perfect place for sunset i think it's gonna set right over here so we're definitely have to come back for it all right let's head down to that beach down to the beach we go and it looks like we have made it so we're gonna pay this lovely gentleman 120 pesos which is six dollars for that ride with totally those two worth stops. it with those two stops yeah gracias senor woohoo we made it to playa la entrega and you better be excited because you are about to step on a platinum certified beach it's been awarded this due to its scenic beauty environmental excellence facility safety and accessibility let's go show you why right off the bat as you enter they have wheelchair access it goes all the way down here to the beach and check this out here it says playa incluyente and over here we see like all this stuff wow yeah that's amazing so this is like amphibian he will take you out in this and you can go in the water in it the yellow part that we see here is for blind people so they have these special sticks. Uh, walking sticks yeah. for them and they basically go right into the grooves. You can lead yourself. If you do want to have access to these facilities and all this awesome stuff they have, all you have to do is bring down your license. These guys will take care of you. Yeah. They'll pull you down to the water. Mm -hmm. It's all for free. But if you want to leave a propina yeah. or a tip, mm -hmm. they would really appreciate of it. Of course, yes, gracias. I mean, that is super cool, all inclusive. I, I love it. I've never even heard yeah. of such a thing. There's only two beaches in all of Mexico that have facilities like this here and in Cancun. Yeah. Honestly though, I think we need to get this everywhere in the mm -hmm. world. It really touches my heart yeah, to know that this is going on here and that they had the forethought to make sure this was available to everyone. Great job, Watulco. Platinum <laughs> certification. Yeah. We Thumbs like up you from even the country more. Collectors. As you enter the flyer, you're gonna see this sign. It has a bunch of rules to follow while you're here. One of the main ones is respect for the coral reef. They have some beautiful snorkeling here and a giant, I mean the biggest piece of coral yeah. I have ever seen. Don't touch it, don't swim on it, don't get too close to it, don't break pieces off. Yeah. It's so important to respect mother nature. Mm -hmm. It takes like 200 years for a piece of coral to grow that long. Be a responsible tourist, please. Yes, all right, time for the beach. Check it out. <laughs> Stunning. And that's only two beaches that we've shown you today. There's 34 more beaches here. That means if you were here for a month, you still wouldn't be able to go to a new beach every day yeah. and see all of them. It's incredible, isn't it? It is incredible. It's time to take these smelly shoes off. <laughs> To me, real freedom is being barefoot and in board shorts. <laughs> and we just got both of those. There you go. Let's go enjoy. This sand here is so fine. It's beautiful. This boat just got back from a tour. I see jet skis, banana boats. There are paddle boards. There's a paddle, a paddle boat. boat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, they have everything you want to do here. There's a ton of people out there snorkeling. The water's so blue. The water is so blue once again. Like I am just, it's crazy. 
And you know what? There's a bunch of restaurants over here. And if you know me by now, I am hungry. <laughs> yeah. So let's go get some food before we go snorkeling. Before he gets a little too hangry. Hey. <laughs> let's go. The first table I saw on the edge looking out over the water, I ran to. I was like, we gotta sit there and show you this beautiful view. We're at Cielito Lindo and we ordered some shrimp and some fish. I'm so excited <laughs> and so hungry. We know you are. <laughs> I love a restaurant where you can put your feet in the sand and just enjoy the views. The views. We get the feeling that when you come and you sit down at a table at one of these restaurants, it's like your table for the entire day. So you unload all your stuff. People in front of us brought their own snacks and stuff. I'm sure they ordered some beers through the restaurant, but it's like you're on the beach. This is your spot. They'll watch your stuff for you. And it's just like this one stop shop. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, I like it. And something else that's really cool is our table came with these two lounge chairs so we can actually sit down in the sand after we eat. This is great. And she just walked up. They do sell oysters and clams as well. Quanto cuesta? Este de 150 for 12 oysters. Oh wow, so it's about $7.50 for a dozen oysters? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Gracias. <laughs> wow. Our food just arrived. It looks fantastic. I'm ready to jump into my Camarone <laughs> Diablo. Oh, so they still have the shells on them. Oh, really? And the head. Yeah. Oh, that's how head we've noticed shrimp. that's how they like to eat them here. They like actually like sucking the stuff out of the head as well. It almost looks like lobster. Mm, it has that same lobster yeah. consistency. I'm digging it and I'm going to suck it out of the head too. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong side. Mm, I had to get the eyeball. <laughs> when you come to Mexico, please try the fish in the Veracruz style. It's so good. It comes with tomato sauce, peppers, and green olives and onions. It's exquisite. I love it. That was delicious. Now it's time to go out for a snorkel. We are down here where they rent snorkel equipment, a complete set with masks, snorkel, fins, and life vests is 150 pesos, about $7.50. We just needed the aletas and those were 50 pesos. But you, if you know us, you know we always travel with our own equipment, mask, and snorkel. This folds up nice and small, so it's great for travel. If you wanna purchase these, we will leave the link in the description below. All right, let's get in the water. that coral it is like one humongous piece i it's know crazy. it's incredible oh isn't that pretty and we just came up here and there's a beautiful beach right behind us and it's nice and shallow and the water is so warm we saw a cave right over here so we're gonna go head into that come with us Ready? Let's go in. Wow, this is cool in here. What a find. Seriously, I feel like I'm in my ocean clubhouse <laughs> yeah. fort in here. It's a little bit romantic. <laughs> we want to dedicate this to our very special friend, Danny. Your contributions are helping us realize our dream. And it, Seriously. it means the world to us. We love you. It's making a huge difference for us. We can't wait yeah. to go on another dive trip with you. And we hope you like your cave. Mwah. Sending you and your family so much love. All right, everyone, let's get back to that beach. We gotta head up for sunset. Let's go. December 
September through March is the best time to come here when the ocean is nice and flat and the water temperature is just perfect. So yeah, put it on the list for your vacation during those months. We're just gonna change and then head up to the sunset. And on our way out to the sunset, we saw these cute little koatis. Look at them. They're sort of like a mix between a raccoon and I don't know, the cutest thing ever. <laughs> and if you wanna come up to the lighthouse from the beach, you can hop in a taxi for 40 pesos or $2 or you can walk yourself up. It is a little steep, but there are some rewarding views along the way. We are almost there. And you can see the sun going down. It looks like it's gonna be a good one. What a wonderful day it has been. We are so glad we could share it with you, like Adam always says. It would have been nowhere near as much fun without you. Which is so true, we say it from the heart. All day we've been talking with each other and sharing with you a little bit about like the comparisons between here in Cancun and Los Cabos. And we've come to the conclusion that each place has pros and cons. Like if you are like a partier and you like nightlife and the beach, Cancun might be good for you. If you like just a little more beaches, not a lot of nightlife, and more of like a authentic experience. What's this cool? is the place for you. Yeah. And it is so clean. Mm -hmm. The ecotourism here is second yeah. to none. It's probably the best in Mexico. Yeah, they've actually won a lot of awards that we haven't mentioned for their environmental stewardship, all the programs that they have. They really put a lot of attention to making sure the environment stays as pristine as it is here. There's also a national park that we didn't mention either where you can go see waterfalls as well. Like, And a lot of the bays, I think like four of the bays are, you can't develop on them at all because of the protection so yeah and, and the yeah. people here are so proud of mm -hmm. the place that they live in which they should be that they keep it clean yes. it's important to them mm -hmm. it's not just a tourist destination right. and like we said before 80 percent of the people that come here are mexicanos yeah. which is super important because i feel like if the locals and the people that are from mexico love it here then you should love it here too yes and we absolutely do thank you so much to this community for sharing your home with us we appreciate you and if you like this video give us a big thumbs up comment subscribe and don't forget to ling 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 the bell we are heading to chiapas after yes. this we've been looking forward to it for a very long time we can't wait to see you there we'll see you next time adios